Let's take a look at prediction problems. If you flip two coins 20 times, what is the best prediction possible for the number of times both coins will land on tails? Okay, well let's start with the probability. When we're predicting the outcome, we obviously don't know the future, so we can't say exactly how many times it's gonna happen, but we can use our probability to make a good guess or a good prediction. So since we're flipping two coins and we're talking about them both landing on tails, this is a compound probability. So when you set up a compound probability, it's the probability of event one multiplied by the probability of event two. So that would be the probability that the first coin lands on tails times the probability that the second coin lands on tails. Okay, well think about a coin. Each time you flip a coin, there's two possible outcomes, heads or tails, and of those two outcomes, one is tails. So that means each time you flip the coin, you have a one out of two chance or probability of landing on tails. Now we're gonna multiply those together. So you're gonna multiply straight across the numerator or top and create it straight across the denominator or bottom. So one times one gives me one, and two times two gives me four. So each time I flip two coins, I have a one out of four probability of them both landing on tails. So if I wanna make a prediction for how many times this is gonna happen when I flip 20 times, well, I would have to say each time I have a one out of four probability of them both landing on tails. Let's multiply that by 20 to see about how many times we would expect that to happen out of 20. Okay, well to multiply this, I can make 20 a fraction, right, 20 over one, and multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Well, one times 20 is 20 in my numerator or top of the fraction, and four times one is four in the denominator or bottom. And now this divides evenly, so I'm gonna divide 20 divided by four, and that gives me five times. So we would guess or predict that both coins are going to land on tails about five out of those 20 times, or one-fourth of the time. If you flip two coins 12 times, what is the best prediction possible that the number of times both coins will land on heads? Okay, so this is a similar problem, except we're saying that both are going to land on heads instead of tails and that we're flipping the coin 12 times. So it's still gonna be the probability that the first coin lands on heads times the probability that the second coin lands on heads. Now we just said a moment ago, each time you flip that coin, you have a one out of two probability of landing on heads, right? Because one side has heads out of two total sides. When we multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom, this gives us one out of four. So we would expect both of our coins to land on heads about a quarter of the time. Okay, so if it's gonna land on heads about a quarter of the time, and we're flipping the two coins 12 times, we can multiply those together one fourth times 12 to see how often we expect it or predict it to land both on heads. Now to multiply, I can make 12 a fraction by putting it over one. If we multiply straight across the numerator and straight across the denominator, one times 12 gives me 12, four times one gives me four, and this divides evenly. 12 divided by four gives me three times. And this should make sense since we expect it to land on heads about a quarter of the time. Well, a quarter of 12 is three. So we can predict it's gonna happen around three times. If you flip two coins four times, what is the best prediction possible for the number of times both coins will land on heads? Okay, so we're gonna multiply the probability of the first coin landing on heads times the probability of the second coin landing on heads. Each time we flip, 
there's a one out of two probability, right? Because there's two sides, heads and tails, one of those is heads. And when we multiply straight across, we get one out of four. So we expect about a quarter or one fourth of our coin flips to both land on heads. Since we're flipping the coin four times, well, what is a quarter or one fourth of four? Okay, well, you can multiply straight across. One times four is four, four times four is one. And four divided by four simplifies to one, or one fourth of four is one. So we would predict or expect out, out of those four times we're flipping the two coins, about one time they're both gonna land on heads. If you flip two coins 12 times, what is the best prediction possible for the number of times both coins will land on heads? Well, we saw this same problem just a few moments ago. Remember, we said each time we flip the coin, it's a one out of two chance of landing on heads. So that means if you flip two coins, when you multiply that, you get a one out of four probability of them both landing on heads. So we said one fourth of 12 was three. If you flip two coins 16 times, what is the best prediction possible for the number of times both coins will land on heads? Okay, well each time we flip it, we have a one out of two chance of landing on heads. When we multiply that together, we get a one out of four chance of both coins landing on heads. So we would predict about one fourth of the time they're both gonna land on heads. So what is one fourth of 16? Well, you can multiply across and say that's equal to 16 over four. And if you divide that, 16 divided by four gives us four.